This is Annie Zeidman Karpinski with the University of Oregon Libraries, and I'm one of the science librarians, and I work with human physiology. So this is for the human physiology students in the Principles of Nutrition class. So I want my last video. I want to talk about how to use Google Scholar with our library resources with fine text, and I know that you would all start from the University of Oregon Libraries homepage. So articles, databases, and indexes, find resources. And you can go to the database list A to Z because we're going to look for Google Scholar. Uh, probably you guys would all Google that. I know that. But just in case, um, here's Google, another way to get to Google Scholar. And here we are at scholar.google.com. And we're going to um, search for low cholesterol and diet. You can narrow your search by date. You can either do a custom range or just look at the most recent ones. You can also try to. Um, take off the include patents to get uh, some fewer results. And um, then you'll see that I have this set up so that you have the fine text links already, already here. Let me just show you where that is in case you don't have that set up. It's under settings and then library links. And then I typed in University of Oregon and did a search. It returned all of these things, but these aren't us, so I just selected the ones that are us, and then I did a save. And then when I do my searching, I get that you have a fine text link. Lovely. Here we go. And then um, here I click and click on you will find text here. And here are all the places where I'm going to be able to get that article, the full text of that article. If I go a little bit further down, you might notice that some of them don't have the U of O fine text link right there. Let's take a look at this one right here. By clicking on more, and here's the U of O fine text link right there. Oh. Try that next one. So this one says it's not available electronically. But we, we do own the journal, so you can get this from the, the science library. Or um, if, you, um, if we didn't have it, then you could request it from another library. Okay, I think that's everything you need to know about using UVO Fine Text with Google Scholar. Happy searching.